My name is Father Szemek Tomczyk and today I would like to talk to you about the image of Our Lady of Częstochowa. If you enter the house of any person who comes from Poland, 90% out, uh, out of 100 you definitely you will see the image of Our Lady of Częstochowa on the wall. You can tell that this is a very important image for the people from the Polish descent and rightly so that because this image is ingrained into the history of the country of Poland. So where this image comes from? Well, the legend has it that the image of Our Lady holding Jesus uh, was painted by none other than uh, Saint Luke, the evangelist, who while staying uh, in Jerusalem after resurrection with Our Lady, with Mary, he supposedly painted the picture of her on a, on a table in, in Jerusalem. And given the fact that we know most about Jesus' origin and Jesus' infancy from the Gospel of Saint Luke, it doesn't come as a surprise that he will be the one having the immediate access to Our Lady. But this is more on the legendary side of the story. Now, how this image ended up in Poland and became such a tremendous and important factor of the Christianity in Poland? Well, the, one of the accounts says that the image of Our Lady was uh, from Jerusalem, uh, Jerusalem moved to the Constantinople by uh, the Emperor Constantine the Great, then it moved to the territory of Russia, and then in the 14th century, by the efforts of, uh, of a certain noble from Poland, he managed to bring this image to Poland and then entrusted the care over that image to the Pauline monks in Częstochowa, establishing the monastery called the Bright Mountain, Jasna Góra, where up until now this image is being held. So I would like to draw your attention to two very uh, important details. First, I would like you to draw your attention to the two scars which are on the right cheek on Our Lady. Uh, these are not coincidental. There was a situation in, um, in Europe in, a, in the 15th century where there were religious and war conflicts really destroying the situation between the countries in, in, uh, in Europe. And Poland, unfortunately, wasn't spared of that. And uh, because of the well-established fame of the, of the monastery in Yastangura, where, where the picture was held, one of the religious fanatic groups sacked the, um, uh, the monastery in Bright Mount in Yastangura and unfortunately took hostage of the picture. They tried to destroy it by slicing the image with, with a sword and remains of that uh, act of vandalism we can see on the face of Our Lady. So fortunately, the picture was recovered by then King Władysław Jagiełło, the Polish king, and brought it to Krakow to start and to fund the restoration process of the image of Our Lady. So the majority of the image was restored, but the two scars remained. And I think it's a very symbolic because um, it shows that Our Lady is really through thick and thin with the country of Poland, to the, to the extent that she even shares the scars of the very tumultuous and very violent history of Poland, the one, the country that has been uh, invaded from many different countries over, over centuries. The other very important detail of Our Lady uh, of uh, Częstochowa is the fact that she's pointing towards Jesus with her right hand. And it is also a very significant symbol and detail because it's, it's, um, it's a style in the iconography called Chodegetria. And it, it's meant to, um, to show and to present a very important theological um, aspect of, of Marian spirituality. Because Mary, as the mother of Jesus, she's always pointing to her son in a very spiritual way, but also in a very visible way, as we can see on the icon. And that's a, that is also the right way to understand the Marian theology. Mary is always the one bringing us to his son, to our Redeemer, Jesus Christ. We can see that in the numerous places in, uh, in the scripture. The wedding in Cana is one of the examples when she says, do whatever he tells you. When Mary says that to, to the apostles, basically showing that she's always pointing to her son. And we can see that in the, in the picture, in the icon as well. The devotion of uh, Our Lady of Częstochowa is connected with uh, the miraculous healings. Uh, ever since um, establishing her presence in Poland in 1384, when the, when the monastery in Jasna Góra was established, there were numerous accounts of the, 
of the blessings of healing that were given through the intercession of, of Mary. One of the earliest one was in 1392, when one of the royal painters in, in, uh, in Yasnagora was, was healed from his blindness. His eyesight was recovered. Now for many, many, many years, there has always been a walking pilgrimage from many different sites of Poland to Jasna Góra, to Częstochowa, to celebrate Mary and to ask for favors through the intercession of Mary. And the main celebrations of Our Lady of Częstochowa are in, on uh, August 15th, on a feast of uh, Assumption of Mary into Heaven, but also on a very uh, very specific feast of Our Lady of Częstochowa, which uh, lands on August 26. One of the most famous pilgrims uh, to Częstochowa was uh, Saint John Paul II. And a piece of trivia for you: uh, in the main altar, where the original icon of Our Lady of Częstochowa, they are like symbols of, of gratitude from people who were receiving healings from Mary. One of that gifts that were given to Mary were, was the belt that St. John Paul II wore on the day when there was an attempt of his assassination in May 13, 1981. So the belt of John Paul II pierced through the bullet that was meant to kill him now is placed in the main altar next to Our Lady of Częstochowa, showing the gratitude of millions of people that were given to her intercession and her abundant care over individuals, but also on the whole country of Poland in general. So when you see the image of Our Lady of Częstochowa, you might think that there are so many different versions of her. We can see one here in a, uh, in a window of uh, Our Lady of Woods uh, parish, but you, you can also see the, the ones on many pictures. So you might say, which one is the original? Why do there are so many different versions of her? Well, the, the answer would be that from the very beginning of her presence in Poland, uh, Mary received many dresses that were uh, supposed to de decorate her for many different occasions. And these dresses are quite uh, significant and special because they are made out of the vota, out of these gifts that the pilgrims would give to, uh, to the monks, the Pauline monks in Jasna Góra as a, as a way to express their gratitude for the healings, for the graces that they received through the intercession of Mary. So, for example, we can see in the, uh, here in the window that Mary wears the crown together with Jesus and she's being worn in the very royal garments, while in the original uh, picture we can see the halo but without the crown, right? So, so the one would be showing her dress just like she would wear as a, as a symbol of the gratitude of many pilgrims that would express their gratitude for her healing while the, the other one will be most, uh, more modest and showing the original um, uh, artwork of Our Lady of Częstochowa. So my friends, I hope that these informations about Our Lady of Częstochowa and the significance for the Polish people will incline you to uh, bring even more of your worries, of your troubles to the miraculous image of Mary and to truly embrace her as a protector and and uh, truly the mother of the church, universal and in particular also for the nation of Poland. Thank you.